This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. In this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to introduce you to one of Indiana's two deciduous conifers, and that is eastern larch or tamarack. We've already introduced bald cypress, which is the other deciduous conifer found in the state. Tamarack can be found in the northeast part of Indiana on swampy and boggy ground, and it becomes much more common as we go further north in the lake states on similar sites. Eastern larch can go pretty quickly on high quality sites, but may be a relatively slow grower on some of these more demanding sites where we would typically find it in the wild. Eastern larch has individual needles. They're quite small and delicate on the first year's growth. If we look at the second year's growth, what we typically see is clusters of needles coming out from little spurs along the twigs. And as these spurs get older, they can actually get to be quite a bit larger in size. As you can see, very delicate foliage. Eastern larch also has quite small and delicate cones. The cones have very thin scales, typically are medium to light brown, and sit upright on the twigs. They somewhat remind me of the cones we find on eastern hemlock. You can see eastern larch has a very upright apical form, very attractive color. In the fall, the tree will gradually turn yellow, golden, and then brown and drop its needles. In the spring, when the young needles come out, it's a very light yellow green, gradually deepening to the colors you see today. So eastern larch, one of our two deciduous conifers found in Indiana, and a neat addition to the landscape.